Did you buy Ripple at $2.50 when Brian Kelly famously on CNBC Fast News told you how to buy Ripple? <laughs> if you did that guys you're probably 90% down. Um, so in this video guys I'll, I'll talk about CNBC as a price predictor for Ripple. You know CNBC talks a lot about Ripple, not so much recently but it talked a lot about CNBC and Coinbase kind of rumours and how to buy and sell a Ripple. So Ripple is one of the coins that featured heavily on CNBC so I'm gonna do a video on, on a CNBC price predictor for a Ripple. So guys Previously, I made a video on how Bitcoin and, and CNBC tweets affect the Bitcoin price. So in, in gist, I mean, if you want to watch the full video, guys, I do a Bitcoin price prediction in my previous video, uh, Bitcoin CNBC predictor with 90% accuracy. In, the, in this video, I'll share the um, chart that I found on TradingView. It talks about how the tweets are opposite to what actually happens. So they teach you how to buy Ripple. They, they talk about Bitcoin hitting um, 25K, Bitcoin going to hit 50k when at, at an all-time high don't fear the bitcoin dip and um, bitcoin breakup coming soon and near the bottom they talk about selling so they so if you do the opposite of cnbc tweets or cnbc talks about you could have made a lot of money and and this is probably one of the best predictor and indicators for bitcoin that i found so that's the gist of it. if you want the full detail of that video watch this video this this video is going to be more about ripple rather than um, Bitcoin. So um, I, I tweeted this I think in July time, yeah, 27th of July, I, I tweeted it a couple of times actually and I, I talked about you know how CNBC again is it manipulation, is it just coincidence or I mean I think it's just how the media works, they react uh, a lot slowly. As a trader to make money you have to be quick guys, you need to understand and get a feel of the of the market the market sentiment uh, before it comes on the media when it comes in the media it, it is too late and and i'm not i mean there could be malicious there's like conspiracy or scam but if you try to have the non-cynical view you could say it's just how the media works you just have to be a better trader and you need to be closer to the market so i've tweeted you know they were teaching how to buy ripple at 250 and they told you how to sell ripple at 70 cents so this is crazy it just shows you you know this this to his talk so i'll never forget brian kelly knows nothing but if you need to do your own research you can't trust this but what you can do is you could do this inversely so when ripple talks about buying ripple you should sell ripple and when when cnbc talks about buying ripple you should sell them and when CNBC talks about selling report you should buy it if you do it inversely you could be sitting on some good profit so this is just the gist of it guys if you don't follow me on Twitter guys I can update people a lot more on on Twitter so, so follow me on Twitter and then subscribe to my channel as well I'll, I'll do Bitcoin ripple I, I like to cover ripple quite quite a lot because there's a lot of ripple subscribers and followers uh, on Twitter and on on YouTube so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the um, click the notification button. So Ripple is down 90% since CNBC infamous buying tutorial and he talks about how easily you can buy it and how he's bought it. So it, it is not, it, it's not great guys. So I feel bad for the general public who don't know who's, I mean I'm sure you, if you watch these videos and you follow me on Twitter and you do your own research, I'm sure you know a lot more than this. But CNBC talks about how you can purchase it. They've rumored a lot about bitcoin and coinbase the price went up massively when they hosted i don't know whether they do it purposely when they hosted the brad garlinghouse and the ceo of coinbase and the price went up because they thought the partnership was going to be announced or ripple was going to be listed on cnbc so we've got to be careful guys we can't just uh use the media to trade when it's on the media it's already too late it's all about hype but you could use the media in a way to make money again this is not financial advice you need to do more research on technical fundamentals and the market sentiment but you could use this to make some money and and but please do your own research before you play with your hard-earned money. That's what that's what makes me feel bad, you know. I can't believe people still follow these clowns to invest their hard-earned money, you know. We are the general public. We're not the richest people. And, and these whales taking our money and it's really not fair. So you thought, I bought all that. I bought all that ripple. That's how easy and fast it is. If you thought Bitcoin was hot, maybe you should learn about XRP. It's another cryptocurrency that's been rocketing in popularity lately. It was created by a company named Ripple. And that's another book. Well, 
at least they said they didn't say Ripple and XRP is the same thing there different things I, I use it interchangeably on my channel for ease of use but Ripple and XRP is different XRP is what we buy and we want XRP and X Rapids to do well if you follow my v previous Ripple videos you know I've talked about the differences and, 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 and the thing is so should you buy Ripple or should you not buy Ripple the answer is up to you guys if you believe in Ripple if you believe in their partnership if you believe they'll deliver you need to be you can buy it and, and you can dollar cost average you could trade it but do your own research if you believe in ripple you can buy it because again currently cnbc is not talking as much on ripple so is this a good accumulation zone potentially you know we, cnbc is not covering ripple as much as they were before so maybe if you believe in ripple it could be a good accumulation zone and when people start talking about ripple the price could skyrocket again this is not financial advice do your own research but it could happen um i've got i've shared my views on ripple you know i like some of the things that they're doing but uh but there are things that i've, I've got some concerns about i've shared it all in my video but do your own research Research. and and this is another price prediction it talks about Yale uh, researchers talk about it so one thing is the momentum effect if price goes up price keeps going up so in my previous video um, I'll do a price prediction at the end actually let me just quickly go through this video so when the price goes up it's like a momentum more people buy it uh, so momentum is actually simple if things go up they continue to go up on average and if things go down they continue to go down and the investor attention effect is a Google researchers so search Google for searches if if people are searching for Bitcoin Bitcoin goes up if people are searching for Bitcoin scam things go down this is another price prediction similar to the CNBC predictor in a way so guys before I end this video I'll just do a quick Ripple price prediction. In my, in my previous videos, I talked about the same thing. If Ripple had broken 35 cents, I would have been bullish and actually traded Ripple. I did I played a quick bounce play, but I sold um, I sold it around there, and and I was hoping to buy if it went uh, above 35 cents. But as you can see, guys, it failed and it's lower now. So it will depend on Bitcoin and potentially some good news coming but it's difficult to say what will happen with Ripple uh, I said I would have been bullish above 35 cents but if you're a trader that's your update on the technical analysis I'm not going to go into all the intricacy but if you are just an investor in Ripple these might be good potential buy zones because even if it goes down if you believe Ripple would be at one dollar two dollars or whatever you believe it believe in Ripple if you buying it at 30 cents or 20 cents might not make a difference but if you're trading to flip some profit buying it at 30 cents and 20 cents will be a massive difference so I'm talking both about the trader and the investor so I hope you guys understand that there was some confusion maybe I'll do a video on trading dollar cost average and, and investing in Ripple so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope it made some sense. Do not just listen to CNBC and especially do not listen to Brian Kelly when he tells you to buy and sell. So thank you very much for watching this video guys. If you have enjoyed it, please scroll down and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Ripple, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency price prediction, breaking news, the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of crypto. So thanks for watching this video and also if you want to win half a litecoin guys subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your litecoin addresses below to win half a litecoin so thank you very much for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel smash that like button share this video with your friends and family because we need to share cryptocurrency to the world it, as an early adopter it is our responsibility not just my videos but just talk to your friends and family about it so thank you very much so smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much